So, I've been reading this book lately, and it is my lover. If I could marry books, I would. I guarantee that everybody, and I mean everybody, goes out and buys this. It's about this lady, Renee, who works at a hotel, well, a building where rich people live, I guess, and she's super smart, but she doesn't think that concierge is, or whatever, should be smart, so she pretends that she is like pretty much everybody else, and basically it's her like telling her thoughts and like making fun of all the rich people in her building, and it's written in stream of consciousness, which is really, really hard to do, so I'm impressed with the author already. And then it's also about this girl, Paloma, who is the daughter, like, one of the rich daughters, and she's really, really smart, but she doesn't want to draw attention to herself, so she's been, like, living her life pretty much the same as the other girl, um, trying to fit in, but she decided that the world isn't worth being in, so she's going to end her life at age 13, and so she's writing two journals, which are profound thoughts and movement of the world, in case she finds something that is worth living for. And it's so good. All these little tabs. Because I'm a super nerd, I like tab all my favorite quotes. And okay, I'll read you one. Stop begging. Okay. What other reason might I have for writing this? ridiculous journal of an aging concierge, if the writing did not have something of the art of skyping about it. The lines gradually become their own demerges, and, like some witless yet miraculous participant, I witness the birth on paper of sentences that have eluded my will and appear in spite of me on the sheet, teaching me something that I neither knew nor thought I might want to know. This painless birth, like an unsolicited proof, gives me untold pleasure, and with neither toil nor certainty, but joy of frank astonishment, I follow the pen that is guiding and supporting me. I particularly like that quote because I'm a writer and it's about writing, so, you know, I can relate. It's a fun time. And yes, I am aware of the fact that I have a slight lisp. I think it adds character. 